Good afternoon, my dear friends out there. It's so beautiful to see you again here at Dole. <laughs> Dole dose, daily dose. So today I have this interesting thing um, being 32 years old and someone really thinking about the time and maybe just one regret that I actually have. And uh, so uh, I recently started playing badminton, actually it's uh, already five years and uh, I actually started by the way playing with my wife uh, and she actually brought me uh, to this nice group of people who, who were playing or actually back then Vietnamese. Now the group actually outgrow this whole community and it's just an international sort of club playing um, yeah, every week very uh, frequently and uh, I just absolutely fell in love with this sport. I recently just really invested in my gear, right? <laughs> as well as in getting a, a sort of one-to-one -one, uh, trainer. So really sort of upping now the game for myself. And only because I realized that I'm already 32 years old, right? And I did this calculation where um, if I was you know, about to get 10,000 hours in the practice, meaning sort of reaching a certain sort of high, high level, that would mean that uh, if I now would practice basically every single day for three hours, right? For, uh, let's say 10 years, uh, then I would somehow get to this and close to this 10,000 uh, hour sort of, right? Like dream. And uh, that's crazy because by then I would be 42 and um, <laughs> all the professional players uh, somehow retire at around 35. So um, yeah, this is just a hard fact. And you know, that regret that I have is why I didn't pick anything before of course, I didn't know that I would be so passionate about badminton, but maybe I wasn't really exploring all the other stuff. Of course, a lot of things happened that I'm so grateful for. I mean, I don't regret any of the decisions, but perhaps I could be more sort of, you know, in the exploration sort of um, mood where I would just go and try maybe all the sports, um, you know, or something like that. If I would be interested, in, let's say in science, maybe I would just go through all the fields and really, you know, dive into each and then find if it's really that interesting. Of course, uh, one might say that uh, maybe back then I wouldn't be so much interested, right? But anyhow, anyhow, if I started at, let's say, 20 or 25, right? Then plus 10 years, I would be 35. That would be beautiful. But now getting further with the skills or improving myself in badminton, it's just, um, you know, there's not that much time anymore either uh, because of the family and, you know, just responsibilities in general. And so uh, if I was younger, I would probably pick something and then just really pour all my hours in. I mean, I did that maybe with some other fields, but this ties a lot to the physical state, right? Um, back then I could just <laughs> party all night, uh, you know, getting, uh, you know, biking home in the morning and then just wake up in the afternoon, you know, being still uh, in really fresh. But nowadays I can't just do that simply. And this ties to the regeneration that is just somehow not as as good <laughs> as before obviously yeah it's it doesn't get better with the age unfortunately you know there are, there are of course things like chess which um, you can basically practice forever with your mind so uh, those things can maybe wait but if there is anything uh, if there was maybe an advice for younger myself, that would be really picking maybe some sort of sport or some activity that is limited by the phys physicality of the human nature. And, you know, just go really into that because now it's really difficult to 
uh, push it so I would, you know, get 10,000 hours in and become a master. Because that's ultimately what is great about, you know, the practice and um, the enjoyment of the, um, of the thing that you love. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that was quite a short one today. But uh, I felt that I really needed to tell you, all of you who are a little younger than me, just to not wait until, yeah, you are 32. <laughs> yeah, uh, so uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in the Daily Dose. I will happily hear you and see you in the next episode. And, you know, just be yourself and don't care that much about the people, you know, because ultimately, yeah, nothing really matters. So, yeah, do you and yeah, ciao.